Welcome guys, now we will discuss the chef and ants problem. It is again part of January challenge 2021, January long challenge from Code Chef. So uh, the problem statement is quite big and uh, complicated. I will try, try to simplify it for you. So what the problem here is trying to say is that initially you will be given for each test case n. n will be the number of lines which pass through origin which in this case is 2. So we will have let's say a line and the two lines are passing through it. This is the origin. And for the each line, the first character will represent the number of ants on that line. In this case, two, which are positioned at uh, position minus two and one. Now, the, the sign of the position does not matter. It simply refers to if ant is, uh, if ant is present on one side or the another, which in this case, one and minus two, that means one ant is positioned on one side at position 1 and other ant is positioned at opposite side of 1 and it is at position minus 2. Now it doesn't matter if I write 1 here or minus 2 here, it will not change the answer or the question. Now for the second line I only have one ant and which is positioned at position 2. Now what the problem statement here is trying to say that when the timer starts, okay. When the timer starts, all of these ants that are present in this particular grid will start moving towards origin with same speed. All of them will have the same speed. Okay. Now this is relevant. I will tell you why. So now when they are moving towards origin, if two ants collide. Now how, what will collision mean here? Let's say all of them are moving towards origin. Okay. After some time, this ant will move, will have moved, minus, will have moved to position minus 1 by 2. That means it has moved 3 by 2 positions forward. And this ant will have moved to this side 3 by 2 positions forward. That means it will have been at position minus 1 by 2. Now at this position, both of these ants will have different directions. So this will cause a collision. We'll add it to our collisions. And then finally, from here, both of these ants will change their direction. So this ant, which was initially going in this direction, will now finally go in this direction. And this ant, which was initially going in this direction, will now finally go in this direction. Okay. And this ant will have moved to position 1 by 2 because all of those ants are moving with same speed okay now after each ant has traveled furthermore half distance what will happen after that this ant at position half will have reached origin and it will be moving towards the direction and this ant which has collided at position minus 1 by 2 will also have reached origin okay now this will also count as a collision because two ants, two or more ants has simultaneously reached one position that will count as collision. So now again, both of these ants will change direction. So the ant which was at half will now start moving away and this ant will also start moving away from here. And the ant which was initially present here was already moving away. Now it has already covered more distance than this. So these ants will never collide. So finally, the number of collisions will be 2. Now after this, no collisions will happen because see, none of these ants are moving towards each other other than these two which have a distance between them. Since all ants are moving with same speed, this distance cannot be reduced. So ants moving in same direction can never collide. Therefore, the max, there will be only two collisions. Fine. The, the problem with the example which I discussed only had two lines. Usually complex examples will have multiple lines and multiple ants on them. So you have to figure out how many collisions will occur before finally each ant will go on its separate ways towards infinity. Okay. Now I have prepared some points and notes for you. The thing you have to remember is that two ants moving in same direction either with away from zero or towards zero will never collide 
this line should make sense because the speed of all the ants is same therefore no ant can ever overtake any other ant therefore no collision can occur therefore two ants moving in same direction on same line will never collide okay now the second point is the last ant in lane moving away from zero will never collide with any ant now this is just an extension of this statement let's say this is the grid and ant is at position 2 already collided with something and now moving away with nothing in front of it and nothing is ever going to catch it because uh, the speeds cannot be greater therefore this ant will just go towards infinity so this ant will never collide again okay now I have prepared some test cases for you uh, these are very simple test cases which are only for line 1 so, so that you will understand what is the basics and how the collisions are occurring and this is a little complex statement I 